Well, today I'm going to show you how to um, take this autograph, Matthew Roderick, uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off fame, um, and take a photo, um, kind of like this one here, and put that autograph on top of a photo similar to that. A lot of that's not, not this exact photo, but a photo similar to it. Um, so, first thing obviously you need is the autograph. So you got to go out. Track down your celebrity and get them to sign a blank white sheet of photo paper. Um, most celebrities will do that. Occasionally, you might get a weary one that doesn't want to sign a blank photo, but nine out of ten times you won't have a problem at all. Um, once you get the autograph, like I have, you got to find the photo. So you want to go on Google Images. You want to find the appropriate photo that would sort of fit an eight by ten, sixteen hundred by twelve hundred um, works well. So you want to uh, find that photo, and I recommend printing it out. Hopefully you have a good printer, and you know how to use it. Print it out, like me. See, this is sort of the trial run. Wanted to make sure it was the right size, not all warped. Um, and it looked good. It wasn't all fuzzy, wrong size. Next thing, you want to know your printer. You want to know how it feeds through. Like, just like this, mine fed through, head first came out. So your autograph doesn't end up on the sheet all upside down or sideways or whatnot. So I know enough to take this autograph, put it face down, and feed it through. That way that photograph that I printed out will fit nicely on this white sheet of paper. Um, should come out just fine. Um, so yeah, something like this you could use for TTMing as well. Um, a good thing about it is, as well, if you TTM, you can also take yellow post-its with arrows and you can have the celebrity sign exactly where you want them to sign because you might have a photo in mind and you want it to look really sweet in that exact spot. So you can always do that as well. Um, it's a little tougher in person, especially if they're in a rush. They just might sign it all big and across the middle and that's not always great because then the autograph... It's going to be harder and harder to find a photo. The best place for them to sign is somewhere near the bottom. That's usually the best place. So, um, it's going to wait a few minutes, and the photo should come out all done. Um, I use either three, three and a half, three star photo paper, glossy. Uh, you can go up to five star. Um, you know the real pro stuff. Either way, just glossy at least three stars works well. Um, you should be totally all set with that. I prefer that over the, um, the matte finish. Um, it just doesn't show up as well with this little trick here. Um, so this is a good trick. It works really well. and You know, it's great when you go into event, an event and you don't know who's going to be there. There could be celebrities there. There could be, you know, people you just you aren't expecting to see. They could pop out last minute. And if you have something like this, you're good to go. You can just... Um, Whip it out, they'll sign it, and then go home and you'll figure it out later as far as what photo you want to use. Um, plus, it can save a lot of money. I mean, if you're printing out photos for everybody in an event, let's say there's 20 people and you want to do a photo or two each, and then you miss them and you don't get them signed, you're going to have a stack of photos that are really going to add up after a while. Um, I know mine did, so um, sometimes it's good to do this. Um, especially on celebrities you might not even care about so much. It's good to at least get them on a blank, because then when you get around to putting a photo, you can do it. Um, in my case, Matthew Broderick, I didn't know I was going to go after him that day, so I didn't have a photo. I would have had something Ferris Bueller, I think, if I was, you know, thinking I was going to go for him, but I didn't. So, hence the Ferris Bueller photo, hence why I got him, so it works out really well. Um, and if you guys have any questions, you can always comment on this, or hit me up on Facebook or not, and I can answer them for you. Um, but, you know, I have dozens of photos signed that I got this way, and, you know, it, it seems a bit, uh, a bit weird, and it doesn't seem like it would work, and I can't tell you how it works, I can't tell you why it works, because I don't know, it just works. The printer kind of goes around the autograph, it puts everything underneath, underneath it all, all neatly, and, um, it's almost like he was right there signing, and sometimes it, uh, it works out even better than if they were right there signing because certain people don't sign certain photos, you know, certain people don't sign certain photos from certain movies, some people are really picky, 
But um, you do it this way, then guess what? They signed it. And, and you can be one of those only collectors to have something signed by that person that doesn't sign that sort of stuff. So that's also cool, too. You can get really, really unique items by doing this. So that's another another plus to doing this. So it looks like the photo is just about ready. It just has that one last sort of photo uh, printer sort of push out thing here. Um, should happen in a second. Then we can kind of show you the finished uh, finished product. There it is. And let's see here. Let me grab it for you. And spin it around here. And if you notice, the same autograph that was on that white sheet, the white sheet is now the photograph. And the autograph's right there on the bottom. That's about it. So pretty sweet. That's how we do it. So um, if you have any questions, comment. Hit me up on Facebook, whatnot. And um, thanks for watching.